here is a mini lecture about mirrors. This is uh, about the definition you can read, uh, definition 1.24 in our notes. Um, it is not to be confused with the reverse. Um, so here at the top left is the definition. Let L be a link, oriented or not. So you can do the mirror of an oriented link or of an unoriented link. So what is it? The mirror of L, and it's denoted by ML, is the link obtained by reflecting L in a plane in R3. So now we have to remember, a link is a special kind of subset of R3, and uh, if I choose a plane in R3, any plane, and then reflecting that plane then what's going to happen to L is it's going to be taken to a different link and that link is called the mirror and it's important to note that when I say reflecting a plane it doesn't matter which and that means that we can choose the plane we choose to reflect in and whatever happens will get equivalent links. Um, so here are two good options you could use. Option number one is that you could reflect in the plane of the page. So if you've got a diagram then if you can if you think of the diagram as living uh, of, of, if you think of the link depicted in the diagram as living in R3 uh, then you can think of the page itself as a plane in R3 and then you can reflect in that plane. What's the effect on the diagram? It's very simple. It's going to switch the crossings. So if you used to have a crossing that looked like this, then you'll end up with a crossing that looks like this and vice versa. So that's one option. It's to reflect in the plane of the page, which means change the nature of every crossing in terms of diagrams. But there's a second option, option number two. You could reflect in a plane that crosses the page in a line. So uh, if, you, if you pick a line in your page, then you can think about the plane that uh, consists of that line coming out towards you and going away from you. So it gives you a plane that crosses the page in a line, what happens if you reflect the link in that plane? Well, in terms of the diagram, what you do is you reflect the diagram in that line. So let's see that happening twice. Here's an example. Uh, we're going to take this link here in orange, and we're going to reflect it in uh, the two possible ways. So let's do what tends to be the easier one. We will reflect in the page itself. So I'm going to take a copy of my original link. I'm going to erase all the crossings. And then I'm going to put back in the other crossings. Um, so for example, if we start on the top left, crossing there, um, we're going to change the overstrand and get this guy here. If we start on the top right, uh, we're going to change the overstrand and end up with this. If we look at the middle, then changing the overstrand will give us this. Uh, bottom left, changing the overstrand gives us this. And bottom right, changing the overstrand gives us this. There we go. Uh, so that's how we reflect in the page. Now, let's look at the other option, reflect in a vertical line. So let me take another copy of my link. Let me choose a vertical line to reflect in. This one right here. And then let's see what happens when I reflect. Um, well, if we look at this sort of right-hand part, 
of the link, if I reflect that, this may go badly, uh, I'm going to get this. And it should come down a little bit further, like that. So I'm reflecting it in this line. Uh, if we look at this little extension of it, if I reflect that, I'll end up down here. If we look at the further extension that comes around, then if I reflect that, we will get this. Whoops, time to try again. Um, we will get this. And then if we reflect uh, the, uh, the bottom part of this ring, we'll end up with this. And if we reflect the top part, we'll end up with that. So uh, that was me reflecting in a vertical line. And let me, I'm pretty pleased with the outcome there actually. I thought that was gonna be a disaster. Um, let's move it and there's what we get by reflecting in our vertical line. Um, so if we look at the two results, this diagram at the bottom left, this diagram at the top right, it looks like we messed up because they're not the same diagram. Um, but, uh, well, let me write that down. So the diagrams are different. Uh, but they represent equivalent things. They represent equivalent links. How do we see that? Um, well, can you see, ask yourself, can you see that this and this are equivalent? Uh, pause the video and have a go. Uh, my answer is that they represent equivalent links uh, and that we see that by taking one of them and rotating it uh, through 180 degrees in the plane. So if I rotate this 180 degrees, I will get exactly what I have on the top right. Okay, so that's the end of the mini lecture.